Yaga yo, Wagwan, RL Scorsese, I'm a gamer, 24-7, hack and slash, level 4, part 2. Let's do this, people. Jump in and grab my Tom Fizzery boy and Brock sat him up. No long thing. You know what? I don't want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Man's on 30 in two weeks. You done no. Enough love, enough respect for that. Anyway. Yeah, so you know what? This level is one of the levels I've got a bit of a love hate relationship with it. Like this level, I think the atmosphere is cold. Like I like how there's like quite a few booby traps on the game. But I don't think there's enough variation or enough enemies to fight, you know what I mean, on this stage. But the cosmetics of the game is hard, you know what I mean, I love that about this game. But, just wish there was more variations of enemies on this level, man. And more enemies to fight, you know what I mean. So, hmm. But what I do love about this level, is the only level with two bosses. So I think that's hard. Right, so these little things, they ain't gonna transform a man, so it's just this little ute by himself. I'm gonna get bodied with a tone surgery, boy. And I'm swinging and missing like a madman. Oh, no, I miss no more. Mm-hmm. Brat man up for it, boy. There you go. Hold that in your blood clot. Like with this level here, yeah, this level's got bare traps on this level. Like there's bare little booby traps and whatnot laying around, so be mindful when you're running around this stage still. Because you could run into a booby trap and get moved up. So that's one of the things I like about this game. It's got a little bit of a mixture of different things as you're playing through the game. I'm still rolling around with my gold preps through, but it's done though. Still sticking to what man does, you get me with guarding, I'm not getting caught off guard by nothing on nobody fam. Bro, look at this creep. My man is just lurking. I mean what I will do at some stage in the game, you know what I mean, is I will fight one of these things and a giant giant yokai so you can see the benefits of splitting them up. But I think you man really understand the benefit of splitting them up still. Right, my man's just in the other corner, you know. Is that he's over a dead body, pillaging it, or he's just literally just waiting for me. Yeah, and he was over a dead body still. But he's gonna get clarted up, everybody. No long thing. Ooh. Man slap me nice fam. He's gonna get dead with you, fam. So like this stage here, yeah, I do believe this is one of the biggest stages on the game. Well, I should say early stages of the game. Like where man is now, man moved on to the second region of the game and this is the first level of the second region. You get me? So you move to different sections on the map. So that's where man's at the moment still. Yo, look at that. My homeboy is there chilling, waiting for man to come and rescue him. Send him back to his crib with the rest of his man them. Yeah, cuz. Peace to you too, dude. What? Out of all them pots, don't give me nothing, you know? Well, one of the things I like about this, this level, yeah? How it's, just, how it's just quiet. It's got that sort of... That quiet, sort of eerie feel. Like... Death is just waiting to jump out and get man. Anything in here for man? Us. Alright, that's that statue, brother. I knew, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I don't think there's any of the others, but I always double check it still. Even though I know, I always still double check it. You never know. You get me? Yeah, man. I ain't got time to be fighting this dude here, boy. Man, I just set man on fire. There you go. Give me that. Yeah, let me break up these statues. See if this gonna give me anything. Any money. Any items. 
Nope. Gonna go and stink, yeah? Same. Right, so I know there's items at the top there where I lit my man, but I will come back around to that and scoop that still. So, one of the things in this game, it takes you around in circles. So, if you do body satin and you don't go there straight away, the game will lead you back around there anyway. So, you don't need to worry about that too, too tough. Look at this big, giant, nasty dude. You know what? Let me fight him. No, no. Mm. Yeah, let me fight him in this little in this little corridor. Back up and bring him out. Oi! Yay! 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 Bro, man, support man, slipping there still and again. Take a help. So straight away you can see the amount of damage these guys cause with just you know one or two hits. Like this game is very unforgiving, fam. Right, what did he give me? What's that? It's cool. Some man got some plate mail. Get that. As I got forced to go back down this way anyway. Let me see what else was down there. Bro, my man was on his Jack Jones still. I thought there would have been a bag of man up here. I guess not. I know there's something close up if I can hear it. Ah, oh, there it is, there still. See, these guys, these guys get on my nerves. I hate these enemies. Not because they're difficult, I just think they're just jarring. Like, jarring, annoying, worthless. Don't see why they made or put one of them dead characters on the game, man. And they're all over the game as well. They're not even in just certain spots. You know what I mean? Or just certain levels. Stupid little things are like everywhere. Oh, see, those are the um, are the booby traps that I was talking about. So if you look on the floor there, as man walks over it, you activate it and it fires out the arrow still. So you can see why I was saying to block. Now that's brought me back around to where I was earlier, as you can see. Let me see what was down there actually. All right. Okay. So what? Was the door locked? Let me try open the door. Okay, man can't open the door yet still. Alright, fair play. So, cuz, like, you, my man, was gassed the other day, you know, when I saw 30 subscribers. You know what I mean? I know I've said it before, but thanks for the support, people. You know what I mean? We will be getting in videos as much as possible, fam. Four on, four or three, boy. Four days of no videos, four days of four videos. That's how man be moving out here. Right now, these dudes here, yeah, they're easy to kill, but if you don't take them out quickly, you don't pay attention to them, they can cause you a lot of damage. You know what I mean? One of the things I do like to do with them things there is if there's like a group, I like to take them out first because as you can see, you get the element. So right now, my weapons are on fire. So I like to take them out first, get the element attached to my weapon because then when I'm fighting other characters, it's going to um, cause more damage. So it's a man back to shrine. Now I mean, get your save on, do your thing. Oh, wrong. My man's already activated. Okay, I thought I had to actually walk over to them or be in their line of sight for them to be activated. Still, but I guess not. I should throw a bomb at him, but hmm. let me just brought man up with my swords. Them big, slow, powerful swipes, where? There we go, we'll take my out. Give my money. Nothing down here for man. Yo, got another Kodomo. Know what I mean? Send my man back. I'll see man perched on my shrine when I go back there later still. These, these, these are these guys, they are annoying man, I hate fighting these things. long bro, so jarring. Like, it's, it's, it's just not a challenge. 
But as you can see, this level's been stink with man. I don't want to give man no extra items when I'm smashing up boxes or um, fake statues that haven't been activated yet. Ain't giving me nothing. But let's see what's around on the rest of this level still. Okay. Alright, so seems to be safe. So I'll just brock up this thing. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. There's one next to man that is that is alive. That's why I'm not running down there. I'm gonna be sensible. I'm gonna back it up. I'm not getting my ass off. So what you could do in future is like if you are going through this level, as you saw that statue does activate, which is called a sentry. I keep calling them statues, but they're called sentries. Just lure this yokai thing down to you. And then just rock it up up here because you know up here is safe. And now you can go down there and take on the sentry. Wherever the sentry is. Okay, where did he go? Ah, he positioned himself back there because... Okay, I didn't even know they did that. See, man's learning satin as well. Let's fling a, fling a grenade at him, man. Set him on fire. I'm just going to stay up here and wait for him to die. And go back. Ooh. Should have been patient, man. Just using bare health. Making bare little silly errors, man. This is what happens when you're rushing, you're being impatient. Right. Walking around bare shook, boy. I don't think any of those, these things around, man. I'm gonna turn into anything, so I think I'm safe still. Yep, yeah, it's all good. Man can stop moving like I'm shook, boy. Yeah, here we go. It's giving me something better to fight, man, instead of them bait little zombie things that just try and fill you up with poison. And there's another one because those are the only things that fling bombs. So this is one of the levels that I don't really like, for I'm honest with you. It's not my favourite level. This level's, this level's a bit dead. Like, but, hey, there's always going to be a stage in the level that you don't like, and you think, yeah, it's long, or whatever. But, nah, I'm not really a big fan of this stage here. Alright, I wonder if I can lick him with an arrow from up here still. Well, or should I say shoot him? Can't get the angle on it. Is there anything down there, like a box or anything? Nope. See, so what I could have done is I could have rolled off the top there, dropped down and dropped, man. I want to go and venture out and see what I've got, see what else is out there. You know what I mean? Explore the whole level. Alright, so the sentry down there at the bottom, I've noticed. I just wanted to make sure I was getting this right, that they do look a different colour, they're not as dark, they're lighter, they're a lighter shade, it's like there's a light on them, you know what I mean? So that's how you know what ones are active and, one, and what isn't active. But this game is always, always full of surprises, so you never know, I still say be sensible and aim down on them to see if the cursor tape them changes red. Like that one right there, so well, that was real, obvious. I thought that was, that was active. I don't think they'll. Mm, that other one might be active actually, still. So. Right, let's go and investigate. See if the other one is active. Yes, it is active. And like I said, I don't know if you lot saw it earlier. But what, the reason why I just aim down on them and I don't actually shoot them is because the bullets don't do any damage, love it, and neither do the arrows. So I just aim down on them to see if they are active. 
If you don't want to fight them, just do what I do, man. Bring a grenade at them and get them out of your way nice and quick. Like, even though I did say this stage isn't one of my favourite stages, one of the things I do like about this stage, I do like how the stage is set up. I do like the, um, the I just don't like the enemies on this stage. I feel like it could have been better. You know what I mean? I do like the two bosses that you fight on this stage as well. You might have already seen one, and you'll be seeing the other one soon still. What? Right now, nah, let's see if the. Ah, oh, so I just wasted some arrows for no reason. I thought there was going to be some enemies around there. Like. Because usually them things ain't just chilling by themselves. So I was actually quite surprised my man's chilling by himself still. I thought there would have been something lurking with him. Like, the design of this level of thought is good. What's down there? Let's just go back this way. Ah, see? Always lurking. Always lurking around in little corners. Like some pedophile. Chilling, waiting for man to come out to try and grab man up. Like, allow it, man. Right now, can you see this there on the floor where it was uneven? I think that's a trap, so I'm gonna try not to go on it. Cause I am pretty sure that's a booby trap. So this is where man was earlier still. Well, not at this point, but I was there at the bottom. So let's release this thing and see what I've got. All right, so that door down at the bottom, that looks all shiny and thing. So obviously man's released Saturn, so I guess maybe that door will open for man now. And there might be a few hidden locations. Let's see what I've got. I'm not gonna go right I'm not gonna go down there right now. Ooh, okay, I'll go check out this one though, because the other one I saw earlier. Let's see what's in there really by. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Got myself a little treasure box and thing. We'll clap up this year and go see what Treasure Man got back. Oh, allow it. Okay, there was two of them in there. I was not prepared for that at all. This is why you should always check the room before you go running in like you're a bad man. Alright, so there's two treasure boxes in there for man. Let me see what they're gonna give me. Right now. Okay, so it's got guard armor. Thanks. More guard armor. Couldn't give me nothing better than that. They'd be thinking I was gonna get something hard. Just got some dusty old guard armor. Not happy. Thought I was gonna get something sick then, because it kind of looked like it was like a sort of uh, hidden area. Or maybe that's just me thinking that it was a hidden area and it's actually not like down here, like raw, like what's the Ah oh, Komodo. So I swear that's three Komodos man's found on this part of the level now. So in the first part of the, of the level, only found one. So the majority of them are on this side of the level. Alright, cool. Put man on his ass, rude boy. Just slap man up, cuz. Feel like a Mike Tyson is moving out here, rude boy. Giving man that one bang and sitting man down on his ass, cuz. No long thing. Got my elixir. Oh, I'm not too sure if I said this before in any of the um, other videos, but when you do fight the bigger yokais and you beat them, or obviously you kill them, they drop health. So you don't worry about buying health from. Um, when you, when, you, when you go to your shrine, don't worry about buying health or don't worry about going to the store and buying health from the store. 
because you are going to get health every time you kill them things. Unless you're running low, then I wouldn't recommend buying it. See, look at that trap. I don't even know where it was. I've got a squeeze that I was already blocking now. And these pots aren't giving me nothing, but I'm still going to double check all of them. Nothing. Right. Ah, oh, so that gave me something decent. Right, there's a reason why I've left out that middle box. Oh, okay, that gave me something good. Right. So if you look at the middle box, can you see the um, three gold straps just got on it? The other boxes don't have three gold straps at the side. They have two. The reason being is because this one is a trap. It's got a yokai in it. It's got this badger looking thing that when man opens it, it jumps out and it transforms and basically it looks like you. So you got to fight yourself basically. So I'm going to... Hmm, should I switch it up? Hmm. All right, you know what? Yeah. Let's go with the single soldier boy and fight this thing. And you know, when you're fighting yourself, it's kind of difficult still, I'm not even going to lie. Look at this little badger thing, it's going to transform into me. Ooh. So it's kind of like you're fighting a reverend of yourself. I'm not going to lie, I do, I, I do enjoy these battles still. I enjoy these battles quite a lot. Because it's not as easy as when you're just fighting through your standard enemies through the game. So when you come across those boxes, just be prepared, innit? Yeah, got my nice stamina down. So the key to success on this game, I think I've said this a few times, patience. Get me? Don't just go in there all ham thinking you're a bad man. So anyway, so when you kill the thing, um, the items that would have been in the box you get, well that's what I assume anyway. I assume the items that you would have got if it wasn't a... Uh, um... Ah, so that's where the booby trap was. Right, what's down here now? Okay, so there's the big thing down there, so... Looks to be the only thing, so I'm gonna risk it still. Woo! There we go. Some rifle ammo. I'm also on the other side. Anything here for man? Nope. Ah, so these guys, when you see the cappers, yeah, just body them because they'll give you kappa shells. And when you, um, with the kappa shells, it does allow you to build certain items, certain armor because you need. It's, it's, it's part of the ingredients to make the armor. Also, they've got a bear and Rita on their back. They don't really cause much damage when you fight them. If anything, they're just more annoying because they will constantly try and run away from you. So you've got to chase them and whatnot. But they don't really cause that much damage. They're pretty harmless, these ones, anyway. And all, the main attack he's going to do is that jumping thing and he'll try and land on top of you with your shell. Just avoid it and chuck, man. But he will mainly run away from you, so you got to just continuously chase him down. But it does give you some good items still, so when you see them, make sure you try to body them. Right, I wonder if there's anything else in this area. Oh, okay, cool, just bring me back in the 360. So 
I'll go back around and I'll body that yokai that was down at the bottom there that I left. I, I believe it's safe, someone's gonna run through. And if it's not, then I'll just improvise and whoop something. Just whoop some ass. But yeah, it seems to be all good. Hold that. The other thing to pay attention to as well is to see what items cause certain damage to what characters. So that bomb I just threw didn't really do anything to this dude. Barely touched his life. So you can see the massive difference between the stances. I mean that was high stance and that took out what? More than half of his life? So when you can use your high, your high stance, don't be afraid to use it. Just use it at the right times. Everything has a time and a place on this game, you know what I mean? Like, definitely experiment with the stances and see what you find is more suited for yourself. What you like to use. Ain't giving me nothing, man. It's wasting my time tripping these things up, man. But you know what? It's always that, oh, maybe that just in case. Right now, I'm not going to open that door because I'm not too sure where it leads to. And I don't feel like I've discovered the whole level. So all them doors, man, will open, just not yet. Bro, look at this heat. Oh, right, there's another heat. Right, true say, because them things walk slow, and I've got more than enough time to lick man in the face with an arrow and then take out this brother. That's the good thing about the sentries. The sentries do move slow, so you've got plenty of time to prepare and attack or decide what you're going to do, especially if there's no, another enemy. So a lot of the other enemies, they, they do move quicker than these. So these things are really a minor when you're in a group. Oh, how did that miss me? I guess that roll actually helped because I thought it would have clapped down when I rolled. I made a mistake right there, so. But this level is pretty big still. See, all that areas like that, I just felt like there, there could be like two or three enemies around there that you've got to fight and whatnot. Oh, and with these um, spars, there is an achievement for locating every single one on every level. So you do get an achievement for it. You also get an achievement for finding all the commodos as well. It just adds a bit of fun to the um, to the experience of the game still. Let's see if he's got. Has he got anything? Or what? You know what? Let's just spice it up, man. Because, like I said, I do find this level. Like one of the most boring levels on the game. So let's fight a reverend. See if he's going to give me anything decent. Try and lure him down here. And it doesn't look like he's going to follow me. Okay, he's ready now, boy. Was ready to get killed again and put back in the grave. Yep, there we go. Stamina down. Stab man straight in his chest. Nah, man. Wait, listen. Come on. You should be fighting better than that. Are you coming with them bait me? Ooh, I did not see. Yeah, I did not see. I did not know that was there, boy. Just 
Just light him up, move around him. There you go. Ah, okay, this is interesting. You know what, I wonder if you get, a, get an achievement for um, for this skill. Oi, okay, I got that wrong. Nope, move. Listen, I'm out. I'm out, allow it. Man's gonna Guardian Spirit him. Fighting these things is long if you're not using your Guardian Spirit. I'm not a coward, I'm gonna use my Guardian Spirit. I know I'll build it back up when I go to fight the next boss. So I don't know if you noticed, but when he hit me, my Guardian Spirit, a chunk of it went down. So when you are using your Guardian Spirit, just remember... What? It brought me back here. Some foolishness, man. That's dead, bruv. That is dead. Anyway, <sighs> um, when you're using your Guardian Spirit and you're getting hit, it does knock you out of your Guardian Spirit, so it makes it fade quicker. So, yeah, don't think you're invincible when you've got your Guardian Spirit up. And if you are getting Brock up and you wonder why your Guardian Spirit is going so quick, you understand. You, you now know why. Okay. Oh, so, okay, so there's one chick down there waiting for man. All right. Maybe she wants to lick her beating still. Anyway, she can wait. Let me see what's... Let me go back up to the other side because now I've opened that one door. Let me open a door that was down here. Hopefully it will lead to a secret area, you get me? Man, we'll get more treasure in that. Please don't disappoint, man. Okay, nope. I'm not fighting the Reverend long. So that has led me to a Reverend. Come on, man, lead me to a treasure box or something, man. And yeah, that was like a massive anti-climax to nothing. Thanks. Might as well fight this reverend. What's he rolling with? Ah, oh, sword as well, yeah? Okay. Let's have a little sword fight. Let's use the better swordsman. You get me? Oh, and when you're playing online, you can invite bridgings into the game and play with them. Raw, okay, that was a waste. So, um... I haven't done it personally, but I've been told the experience is kind of hard still when you're rolling with your boy and you're just going through a level and fucking everything up. You know what? I'm actually going to do a video with me and one of my brethren, yeah, teamed up, taking man out. Let's just sprint right back through to the other side. Let's see this level, yeah? I don't know. It reminds me of kind of like a museum. Like, I feel like there was so much potential for this level. Right now. Saved my game. It's what this chick saying. You damn right made it this far. Alright, come then. She's kind of sexy still. I think she likes, man. That's why she's here. But she must accompany me, yeah? Alright. You can follow, man. Get me. See... Those things look like Amrita. It would have been cool if man could have like licked it off and got that big chunk of Amrita, boy. Right now, the reason why I'm taking my time in this place because I don't know what's lurking. So I do want to try to fight everything on a one-on-one -on -one basis. 
So don't just go sprinting around because you never know. There could be bare enemies in this room. This kind of looks like a sort of boss room. Where you just got bare enemies. We bring in another grenade. Okay, her sword looks hard. Ooh. Ooh. Just send her out to do all the fighting for me while I'm killing. Oh, well, don't just stand there. Go and do something, minute. Oh, so oh, so so now you decide to do something, yeah? After I fling a grenade at man. Even close to him, I'm surprised. Hold on. So, what she could just kill him with two hits? And all this time, I've been wasting my flipping grenades. Chief. Don't follow me. Go and kill the, kill the thing then, man. Thank you. Taking your time. You just want to stand up, that's all. Uh, I still want to activate the reference. Ah, oh, okay, it's the big Cyclops thing. Let me let her fight him. Okay, she's getting cheap. She got chief. So, when you got someone with you, just I'm just letting her distract him while I can just come up behind him and do my thing. Wait, where is she? Man can hear her, but she ain't doing nothing. There we go. Oh, she got a lick up. I got a hand cannon. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to use this hand cannon and see what the hand cannon is saying still. Right, I'm not going to fight that reverend. Go pick up my items from here. Got me a fire amulet. Grab these items from this corpse. Okay, so I've got two bombs. Right, is this going to lead me into the boss fight? I believe it is. So you, man, in a bit, at the second part of the fourth stage, done. You're done, though. RL Scorsese, 24-7, hack and slash. Remember to like and subscribe, people. In a bit. Oh, tight. Peace.